All right, guys, here's the deal. Month of Freedom wanted to let you know. Cleats Car Wash Silky Soap in stock now. This wash mitt is the closest thing I could find on the planet to a Golden Retriever's softness. Jay, come feel this on video. What do you think? It's pretty it's, soft. It's pretty soft, dude. And you know how hard really his soft. hands are. They can barely even feel anything. And then also, our freaking Heat Wave stocks are back up. So we got the new logo on the black Heat Waves back in stock. We got the new logo on the red, white, and blue Heat Waves. These are some of the best sunglasses you'll ever own. And we have the Freedom Factory ones. So check these out. If you're looking for something to buy, these Heat Waves, seriously, a great purchase that lasts you a while. Great set of sunglasses. But most importantly, we got to call the winner of our Turbo from yesterday. We're giving away a Turbo in one random order every single day of the month of May. And we have our winner from yesterday's orders. We have Aaron F from Lincoln, Nebraska. Dude, that's about an hour from where I was born. Oh, and the guy yesterday got a 64 millimeter Turbo. There you go. See ya. Hello? My guy. What's up, brother? No way. Yeah, you're damn right, brother. This is Cletus. No. Yes, no, sir. Lying, I'm not lying, dude. I'm calling you to ask you what size turf ski you want in your order. <laughs> no kidding. Probably one of the smaller units. What are you thinking? 64 is good for about mm, 8, 900, 76, yeah. about. Thousand. Probably too big for the old BMW anyway, so we'll go with the 64. Going with the 64, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you, Aaron, man. Enjoy your turbski. Yeah, thank you. Hell yeah, man. We'll talk to you soon. Unbelievably, the 64 is going faster than anything else. So we are down to just three 64, 66 ball bearing billet wheel turbskis left. We'll see what happens, guys. Month of freedom. Plenty of days left to get entered. You can purchase anything a sticker, hat, a shirt, whatever it may be off cleesmcfrawn.com, and you may end up with a turbski in your order. Let's get to the video. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Frawn YouTube channel. Month of freedom. All right, Nate, thanks for coming down, dude. Dr. Yeah. Tunum on the house. We got JH Diesel's burnout truck that he did some mods to. This is gonna be the first of a few cars we got a dyno today. We got a dyno this later tonight. It's gonna be loud regardless. All right, bud, you ready to fire this thing up? Yeah, we're gonna see what happens. We're on our uh, like 40 second set of push rods here. Okay, so we'll, we'll see if they're the correct length. This I time. think they might be. <laughs> talking about we gotta get this puppy on the dynamometer right now because the <laughs> semi is literally waiting on this one vehicle so it can leave for indy you know how we are last minute it happens yeah buddy last one clap out truck brother spraying onto the motor yeah it might have got a little worse all right guys so we had a water leak on james sketchy water box that he has so ty is fixing that and then hopefully we can make another pull real sketch
the throttle stick? Is that the throttle sticking? It's hung open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I went up, I was like, uh oh. Yeah, I made 407 horsepower. So these little idle adjusters vibrated down during the pull and then kept it so it was <laughs> stuck right there. Yeah, That's right. crazy. We gotta put some Loctite on there. So in like a four barrel, this is your primary. These are your secondary. So this is a secondary air adjustment. Well, yeah. when you got two of them, you had enough air flowing for one. Still making some power yeah. <laughs> after the fact. We probably should have got a brand new set of heads for this because it's still popping out the pipes a little bit, you know? What was it? Is just a little bit of fire coming out of one of the pops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, James, did you see uh, some fireballs coming out? Of... It does that. Yeah, it does that. It's those old heads, you know. They're not it's burning, perfect. It's burning some of the... Uh, carbon. Stuff. I wouldn't call it carbon because it was like brown and orange in color. Yeah, it's something. It's just burning those off. It was burning something. Must have been the tuner. All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. Truck's not making good power. I honestly think the plugs are fouled a little bit and they're too cold, and so it's missing. Instead of replacing the plugs, we're just hooking up the nitrous. <laughs> Look at the smile on this guy's Dude, face. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna make good power. It's not a motor built truck, not, it's a nitrous not, build. This is not do my you idea. Have, <laughs> do you have a favorite basket to put the parts in? When they come out, he's got a couple baskets. Did you hear what Jet? You had a favorite basket. Did you hear what Jet he put in it? 90, 99. 99. No. <laughs> All right, you only get one shot because the bottle's almost empty. So, it's only two, three pounds light. As you see, I'm set up for the two big ones, but uh, you only got one small one. I got one half size. All right, brother, <laughs> let it rip. Nate, don't blow it up. All right, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you're happy with that last nitrous pull? Uh, I'm, I'm happier, yeah. So okay. it's clean. We didn't pull any plugs to see where timing's at, but it's pretty safe for right okay. now. Okay. So. All right, so uh, off to Indy. Yeah, it's a lot better than uh, where we were like an hour ago, so. Yeah, it sounds a whole lot better than where we were an hour yeah. ago. That thing's not accurate either because it's yeah, converter it's... slipping all that stuff. It's probably making more power than that, but. Converter in this thing is very loose. Yeah, you can see it flashes like 800 foot pounds. Yeah. When you're going by gear ratio like that and you're slipping the converter, it's never going to be 100% accurate. Yeah, you so. get that thing grunting, yeah. locked up. It's that time. It's that time. When you know well, what you time is it? We were here real late last night. It's 10 o'clock again. Hey, Dude, you remember. owe me some steak dinners, buddy. Dude, you, you find your way to Indy, boy, I'll take you to St. Elmo's, get you a. I might be there. If you if you end up in Indy, St. Elmo's on me. Every night. This ain't going to be like. St. <laughs> Elmo's on me. No, I buy my steak. You know, I buy my boy's steak. Yeah, he knows that does too. It look like I do push-ups. Come on now. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well. Good job, dude. As always, Doctor Tuna Mall. Try not to blow it, bud. You let me worry about that, okay? I... All right. So first time I closed the hood and it closes, but then I went and looked back here and we got hello second throttle body. So uh, that's exciting. Might just have to cut this whole thing out and do something cool and different for a scoop. You know, keep the old white trash theme going. Maybe build one out of a mailbox or something. And we'll see what we can do with that. But uh, we're going to get this thing off the rollers, load up some more dirt scooters, and then uh, Indy Bound. Dirt scooters and burnouts. But... Come on. But, uh, we got us some full rigs ready to head to Indy. Four of them. But that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Indy Bound. All right, guys. I've had the old Turbo S now for months and i mean she may have a check engine light and a low tire light but that ain't nothing she still loves getting launched 
every single day. I mean, just launch after launch of savagery. I just can't get enough of this car. The reliability of a Porsche is just ridiculous. I mean, what other car can you launch this hard this many times? Let's just pull it right in the shop. Unbelievable. Low fuel light comes on after one launch. So, you know, I've been beating on this thing, having zero issues besides the one flat tire we got. And as you saw in the thumbnail title, I actually jumped this thing. And the reason I did that was for 1320 videos video that I want you guys to see because they came to the shop and to the Freedom Factory and interviewed me on every single car we have in the collection. So you got to check that out. If you want to see some real live action with the Porsche, go watch that video. But I'm not going to click bait, you guys. Here's the video of me jumping the Turbo S. <laughs> You can hear when the tire came off the ground. Like, Pulling out of the track, realizing you can get a little bit light over the hill. So I backed down the hill, put her on the old launch control, and she just flew perfectly. I mean, what other car can be launched this many times and even fly through the air than a Porsche Turbo S? So anyways, the guys had a late night last night working on James' truck, and you'll see the shop is now empty because everything we pretty much own is on the road to Indy. And the guys have the day off today. We'll be in Indy tomorrow, Friday. And then Saturday is Cletus and Cars and the top alcohol cars and the streetcar class. And then Sunday is the Indy 800 presented by Heatwave Visual. Come on out to Indianapolis, Lucas Oil Raceway Park this weekend. But guys, I'm heading out of the shop. I'll see you in Indy. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.